hi guys hi my lovelies you're welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is Oti. i create content on sewing tutorials and turban cap and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i really appreciate you in today's video i'll be showing you guys on how i made this beautiful luxury bubble it is very easy to make I used 100% cotton and cara fabric mixed with Asho K. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. This is the fabric I will be using for today's tutorial. With me here I have 100% cotton and cara with Asho OK. My fabric has been neatly folded into two. I have for the front and the back bodies as you can see and I place it on top of each other. This is my starting line. Neck width 4 inches, neck depth for the back 1 inch, neck depth for the front 8 inches. I use neck width 4 inches, neck depth for the back 1 inch, neck depth for the front 8 inches. Then I will connect the necklines. For now, I connect only the back neckline as you can see. Only the back neckline for now. From the neck width, I connect it to the neck depth of the back. I'll leave the front for now. From my center back to my sleeve length, I'm going to mark 19 inches. From that 19 inches, I'm going to come down by one and a half inches for my shoulder slope them I will connect it to the neck width from the one and a half inches I'm going to measure 12 inches for my sleeve opening From that 12 inches, I will also measure 19 inches in order for me to rule a straight line. From that line, I will come in by 1 inch. Then I will connect it back to the sleeve opening I'll connect it to the top of the sleeve opening this will give your sleeve a nice shape and it will be balanced I can sew that first line as you can see when I'm cutting I'll cut on the slanted line from my shoulder to my hip line is 25 inches at my hip line i will impute my hip measurement divided by four plus three inches That is how big I want it to be on my body. Three inches is okay for me. The same measurement, I'm going to impute it at the M part of the dress. Then I will connect that into a straight line.
you can add four inches to your hip depending on how big you want your booboo to be i'm already on the big size so i always like to work with three inches i connected the hip line to the sleeve opening like so as you can see then at that sharp corner i'm going to measure one inch and curve that part that part has to be curved now curve it like so that is about it for the cutting guys as you can see it is very easy before cutting it out i'm going to add half an inch seam allowance at the shoulder then i'll cut it out for my pocket i'm going to measure my waistline and i'll come in i'll come down one inch below my waistline and mark for my pockets is my waistline 17 inches then i'm going to measure one inch downward that is where my pocket opening will start from then i measure down seven inches for my pocket opening so i'm going to notch that part when i'm cutting it so the next thing is to cut it out i'm cutting the back neckline the shoulder slope from the half an inch seam allowance the sleeve opening the slanted line Then I'll start cutting from the lower part through to the upper part. Then I will notch my pocket opening. I will remove the back bodies and continue with the front bodies. I have removed the back body, so this is the front bodies. From the 8 inches neck depth, I'm going to mark 2 inches. From that 8 inches neck depth, I'll mark 2 inches. I'll continue marking 2 inches straight down. Then I will connect the dotted lines into a straight line. 
from the neck depth i'm going to mark it straight down i connect it straight down Then from that 2 inches mark from the neck depth, I'm going to curve it to join the neck width. You can see the way I'm curving my hand. You curve it to join the neck width. You curve it nicely. Like so. then i'm going to cut it out i'm cutting it out on the line Purposely do not fast forward it so that you guys can see it properly. Then the front has been splitted into two so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to join the front and the back bodies together at the shoulder this is the back body from that center back i'm going to notch it this is important make sure that you notch it just a little then i'm going to place the right side of the front and the back bodies together and join them at the shoulder right side of the front and the back bodies i'm going to place them together then i will take to my sewing machine i'm going to join them with the half an inch seam allowance that i added to the shoulder I have joined them together at the shoulder as you can see so the next thing I'm going to do from that center back where I notch I'm going to measure the neckline I'll start from that center back and measure on one side I'm going to measure the neckline through to the front neckline down to the hem of the dress I'm using tape that is up to 120 inches. Whatever measurements you get, please add extra 3 inches to it to be on the safe side. It is better to have excess and cut it out than to have shortage. So after measuring it from my center back to the lower part of the dress, what I have is 70 inches so I'm going to cut out 73 inches into two places this is the actual key that I'll be using to beautify the front the length of this actual key is up to 92 inches so I'm going to fold and cut out 70 inches plus extra 3 inches so I'm going to cut out length 73 inches from my center back 
measurement to the hem of my dress what i got was 70 inches but i'm going to add extra three inches to it and cut out 73 inches to be on the safe side so i folded my actual key as you can see and the height of the band that i'm going to cut out is three inches i actually want the height to be 2.5 but I'm going to cut out three inches because I'll be using half an inch to sew it to the front bodies. So I'm measuring three inches, then I'll cut it out. I'll be cutting this into two places. I'm folding again to cut out another one. After that, I'm going to iron interfacing at the back of the actual OK, at the wrong side of the actual OK. I'm going to iron soft interfacing. I've ironed the interfacing to it as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place them together. Then I'll take to my sewing machine, I'm going to join the two pieces together with half an inch to make it into a one strip, one long strip. I have joined the two pieces of Ashok together as you can see and I overlock the edges and I have this into one long strip of Asher okay. The part that I joined together is going to be my center back. As you can see, I have it into a long strip of Asher okay. When you go to the market, there are some Asher okay that is this length or even more than this length in the market. They have different Asher okay that is exactly like the width and the length of what i just created and they have it in plain color and multicolored next thing to do place your tape measure at your center back like so then measure through to the front neck depth where you want your opening to stop mine is 14 and a half inches 14 and a half inches another way to measure is remember that we use eight inches for the neck depth for the front so you will place your tape at the center back where we notch then you will measure through to the front neck depth whatever you have you will take note of the measurement mine is 14 and a half 
inches. From my center back through to the neck depth of the front, mine is 14 and a half inches. From the part that I join the actual case together is my center back. So from that center back, I'm going to measure 14 and a half inches. Another thing you will do, from that center back, you will place your tape measure at your center back and measure where you want your slit for the front opening to start from. Mine is 47 inches. From my center back, I'm going to measure 47 inches. And I will mark that on the Asho OK. After that, I'm going to find the midpoint of the Asho OK and I'm going to roll that into a straight line. This is how I measure from my center back to where I want my slits. For the front opening to start from this is how I measured myself if you have someone around you can ask someone to measure for you but this is how I measured myself so mine is 47 inches so the next thing to do you will find the midpoint of the actual key then you will mark it from the first mark to the second mark you make you made on the actual key that is from the neck depth mark to the slit opening mark then you connect that into a straight line at the midpoint of the actual key on the mark i'm going to rule a straight line like so Let me go over the markings again. From my center back, I measured 14 and a half inches for my neckline. Then from the center back again, I measured 47 inches for my slit opening for the front. Then I find the midpoint of the actual K from my neck depth I find the midpoint of the actual K then I rule that into a straight line to meet the 47 inches mark where my front slit will start from so the next thing I'm going to do right now I'll take to my sewing machine on that straight line, I'm going to sew a straight stitch. I've sewn it. So the next thing to do, I'm going to turn the actual K to the right side. Then after that, I'm going to take it to my ironing table and give it a good press with my steam iron. So what I'm doing right now, I'm checking it on me to see if it will need any adjustments. The neck depth is okay. I like the way it is on me. It's not too high and it's not too low. My cleavage is not showing. The slit opening as well is okay, it's not too high and it's not too low. So at this stage, before you sew it to your dress, you will check it. If you will 
like your neck depth to be lower you can adjust it you will just lose the stitch and bring it down a little if you feel the the neckline is too low you can bring it up as well the same thing with the slit as well if you feel the slit is too high you can reduce it and if you feel the slit is too low you can adjust it before sewing it to your dress because once you sew it to your dress there is no adjustment you can't adjust it at all if you want to adjust it, it will now require you to lose everything you will lose the ash okay so to avoid those stress you will check the ash okay on yourself or on a mannequin to see the depth of the neckline and the slit opening if it's okay i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to explain so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to sew the ashoke to the bodies so i'm going to place the center back of the ashoke where we have the joining i'm going to place it at the notch part of the back bodies then i'm going to pin it down you can see the center back the joining part of the ashoke i'm going to pin it to the notch part of the back bodies then i'm going to take to my sewing machine i'm going to sew the edges of the ashoke to the lapel i'm going to start from the notch part at the back i'll sew you through to the front neckline and to the lower part you can first of all pin the ashoke down to the fabric before taking it to your sewing machine to sew so i will take to my sewing machine i'm going to sew the ashoke to the bodies then I will show us the next step to take. After sewing the ashoke to the bodies, please make sure that you overlock the edges to give your work a neat finishing. I've sewn it as you can see and I've given it a good press. I have cut out band height of 3 inches, the height is 3 inches and the length is my sleeve opening length. I'm going to place it like so at my sleeve opening then I will join it with half an inch. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side of the sleeve opening. I'll place it like so and join it with half an inch after that I'm going to sew the sides and end the lower parts that's about it for today's tutorial this is the finished look guys we've come to an end of today's tutorial if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so if you have any question regarding today's tutorial feel free to drop your comment down below i will reply you thanks for watching love you all bye